What was that sound? It's the talk of the town in and around Slidell today. Good evening and thanks for joining us everyone. I'm sure he's Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. Last night we got a lot of calls here in the yeah. WWL newsroom that mm -hmm. there was a loud boom or rumble sound that shook people's windows in the Slidell area. Yeah, people say their ring doorbells as you just saw there yep. also alerted them to the loud sound. Police got 911 calls of concern. So of course a big question here, what was it? Uh, we send Meg Ferris to find out. The slide on police, Amber. Um, I'm concerned about a big, loud um, sound. It was a rumble. Um, apparently, it happened amongst a wide area um, here in Slidell. But there was a big rumble and almost like an explosion. It happened Tuesday night around 7:45. When I arrived home around eight o'clock, my nephew, my six-year-old nephew, called me and said, "I heard a big boom. Our entire house shook." And they're in. Um, like the Eden Isles ish area. The Ring doorbell app sent a notification asking about the boom or notifying about the boom. So, what did you hear? Um, I didn't hear the noise, but I heard all over social media that it could have been aliens or somebody invading us. So, we turned to the Slide Out Police Facebook page. And sure enough, they confirmed that at least one green alien in a spaceship had been seen in Slidell. But as proper journalistic sourcing dictates, we wanted a second source for confirmation and turned to the feds at NASA. NASA's Stennis Space Center is the nation's largest and premier propulsion test site, and it supports a variety of test projects. And we're able to conduct those projects because we're surrounded by a very large 125,000 acre acoustical buffer zone. And every now and then when the weather conditions are just right and conducive, some of the, that testing, the sound of it, extends beyond that buffer zone. Last night there was a temperature inversion, which is really just a layer of warm air. And so when you have that, sometimes it can enhance sound because the sound waves travel up, they hit the warm air, and then they get bent back to Earth. So inversions can make sound heard at farther distances, like from that rocket engine being tested Tuesday night at Stennis and Bay St. Louis, all the way to Slidell. But I kind of had a feeling it was Stennis Space Center. But yeah, it was pretty cool to experience it and knowing that it's from the NASA station, that's pretty cool. Mystery solved. From Slidell, Meg Farris, WWL, Louisiana. All right, now we know. All right, NASA Stennis is a federal city and has about 50 different agencies. They're working on a variety of missions and endeavors. So it's not.